Well, competing for job candidates, human resource managers proving their worth today at a Purdue Fort Wayne job fair. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Jeff Newmeyer takes us live uh, to the scene of that uh, job fair and talks about the sense of urgency employers are feeling right now trying to fill a lot of positions. Jeff? Yeah, Linda, Tom, you know, I was walking through uh, the campus ballroom today where uh, the companies had set up tables. One HR manager took some time to actually uh, kind of seek me out. Uh, she's from a company in Kendallville, went out of her way, tracked me down, wanted to tell her employer story, keen to get the word out about uh, openings that they're trying to fill. Now, we can tell you 74 companies had a physical presence in that Purdue Fort Wayne ballroom this afternoon hoping to meet with and court job candidates, everything from skilled tradesmen, nurses, IT personnel, even general laborers. At the halfway point of the job fair, I was told 80 job seekers had showed up, exploring opportunities on display. The pressure companies feel to hire is evident when you consider that there are about 14,000 online postings for job openings in Northeast Indiana alone. Job seeker Brenda Barton, who recently moved here from Colorado, told me she was startled to find the level of pay and benefits many employers were pushing to candidates. Ottenweller Company out of Fort Wayne has dozens of jobs, or I should say a few dozen jobs, uh, that it's trying to fill, including spots for welders and machinists. And you don't have to walk in the door with advanced training. We're going to help you with tuition reimbursement. We're going to help you. If, hey, if you're a person that can show up on time, you show a dedication to being early and a team player, uh, we're an organization that will help you grow and develop. That's the bottom line. Come in, show us what you got. What have you been doing with your life? That um, I'm like really amazed that there, there's no excuse for not having a job because they're saying that they will hire anybody as long as you're showing your worth. Now, Ottenweller is offering those welder and machinist candidates 3 and $4 an hour more than what it did pre-pandemic. And you might get an extra 3 to $4 an hour if you're willing to cover spots on second or third shift. At job fairs, uh, Tom Linda, we tend to think job seekers have to be the ones on the offensive to get noticed. Well, now the companies are taking on that role to a degree. Back to you. Yeah, things have, have certainly evolved and changed a lot. Uh, so much of it because of the pandemic. Jeff, thanks for that live report.